Energy and Commerce Committee. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank my chairman, Mr. Waxman, for all his hard work on this bill. For far too long, our nation has endured a health care system that is chaotic, costly, and crippling American families. In casting our votes today, each of us must make a simple choice. Do we want to maintain the broken system we currently have, or do we want to make it better? And you should ask yourself, first, are you in favor of allowing health care premiums for American families to continue to spiral out of control, forcing them to delay care or drop, drop coverage altogether? Or are you in favor of providing every American with access to affordable and quality health insurance? Second, are you in favor of more American families falling into bankruptcy under the weight of medical bills? Or are you in favor of providing every American with the security of knowing that they won't go broke if they get sick? Third, are you in favor of more American businesses delaying investments, closing their doors, or laying off workers because of increasing health care costs? Or are you in favor of making it more affordable for those businesses to provide health care coverage for their workers? And finally, are you in favor of allowing health insurance companies to be able to discriminate against people because they are sick, women, or older? Or are you in favor of putting an end to this explicit and immoral form of discrimination that insurance companies get away with today? Mr. Speaker, there are many reasons to vote for this bill, but there is really only one reason to vote against it, and that is to maintain the broken health care system we currently have. If you want to change the system, vote yes. Vote for affordable and quality health care for every American. I yield back.